Hello friends, how are you? I hope you all are doing good. So let's continue with our RTP discussion for December 2021 CA Intermediate Cost Accounting. And we have already covered till question number 7. Right? Now, question number 8 on contract costing. A very easy question, but important question from examination point of view. See, sir, you say every question is important. Bilkul. Because every question is important, whatever they are giving in the RTP is definitely important, right? But above all, what is most important is your concept clarity. So that is the utmost important thing that if you have the concept clarity, then you can deal with anything and everything, right? Okay, let's start with a question on contract costing. RN Builders Limited entered into a contract on April 1st, 2019. The total contract was for 2 crores. The actual expenditure for the period 1st of April to 31st of March 20 and estimated expenditure from April 20 uh, from April 1st 2020 to December 31st 2020 are given below. Right. So this is the actuals that are given to you material issued and this is the 9 months estimated. So you need to be very careful with the period. Right. The period is the contract started on 1st of April 19, right? And this is the first year that it has completed 20, right? After that, the project is going to be completed on 31st of December 20. So this is a 12 month period. But the next one is only and only nine months period. So the calculations need to be done very carefully, right? Okay, so what are given uh, wages paid is given to you and outstanding at the end is given to you plant purchased 10 lakh rupees sundry expenses paid and prepaid. Right prepaid means uh, these expenses were for the next year, which we have paid in the current year establishment charges 5 lakh 85,000 a part of material was unsuitable and thus sold for 7 lakh 25,000 the cost being 6 lakh. Right. So that means there was a material costing 6 lakh rupees out of this 36 lakh. There was a material uh, of 6 lakh rupees, which we have sold for 7 lakh 20,000 that is 7 lakh 25,000. That means we have earned a profit of 1 lakh 25,000. So I have already discussed the journal entries in my regular lectures, right? That how to book the profit if you are, uh, if you are selling the material. So how to book the profit out of that? Okay. <coughs> Material was unsuitable and sold and a part of the plant was scrapped and disposed of for 1,15,000 rupees. The value of plant at site on 31st of March was 3,10,000 and the value of material at site was 1,70,000. Cash received on account to date was 70 lakh representing 80% of the work certified. Right. So that means... So that means we can calculate the work certified from here. The cost of work uncertified was valued at 10,95,000. The contract would be completed by 31st of December 2020. That is a nine months period from 1st of April to 31st of December. And the contractor estimated further expenditure that would be incurred in the completion of the contract. Further expenditure means, see, we are sitting on which date? We are making the counts on this date, right? So on this date, he has identified some further expenditure. Further expenditure means the expenditure which will be incurred in this period. Okay. In the nine months period. A sum of 12,50,000 would have to be spent on plant and the residual value of the plant on the completion of the contract will be 1,50,000. So already we have spent 10 lakh rupees on the plant. He says additional 12,50,000 will be required which will be spent on the plant and the residual value of the plant will be 1,50,000 on the completion of the contract. That means on 31st of December 20, the value of plant at site will be 1,50,000. Right? Establishment charges would cost the same amount per month as in the previous year, right? So establishment uh, charges in the previous year were 5,85,000. Now these charges were for 12 months. He says for the next nine months, in this nine months also, they will be charging the same. That is 5,85,000. This is for 12 months. So you have to calculate for nine months. This is one point where you can commit a mistake. 
right? Four lakh thirty-two thousand would be sufficient to provide for the contingencies. Extra amount to be kept for the contingencies. Prepare a contract account for the year ending thirty-first of March twenty, and calculate the estimated total profit to be uh, on this contract, right? So he is asking you to prepare the contract account on this particular date. On this date, on this date, he is asking you to prepare the contract account, right? And at the same time, he is asking you to calculate the estimated profit on this date. Estimated profit, right? Because we haven't reached this date, so we can only estimate the profits on the basis of the estimated expenditures that will be made in the next nine months, right? So what we can do is we can only calculate the estimated profit. That what profit we can earn from there, right, sir? any doubts so if you are clear with the concepts and you have done sufficient practice of sm and from some other books then you will be easily uh, be able to do this question right so first we will be preparing the contract account on 31st of march 2020 right so the contract account will be like this so the material issued in the current year 36 lakh wages paid 30 lakh 30 lakhs add outstanding right the outstanding wages of the current year will be taken in the wages in the expenditure of the current year right so what we are doing it is on the accrual basis that we will consider it as an expenditure of the current year 2 lakh 50 thousand it is outstanding whether we have paid or not paid this amount belongs to this current year this is an expenditure of the current year so it should be added in the expenditure of current year plant is 10 lakh sundry expenses 2 lakh 90 thousand less prepaid why it is subtracted the prepaid expenses sir because these are the expenses of the next year even if we have incurred in the current year these expenses belong to the next year not this uh, current period that is 2019 20 So we will subtract these expenses from here two lakh sixty five thousand. Establishment charges five lakh eighty five thousand. Material sold seven lakh twenty five thousand, and the profit we are going to book one lakh twenty five thousand. This costing P and L. This is profit on material. Profit on material, right? So what is the net effect, sir? Net effect is the six lakh of the material has been subtracted from this amount. Seven lakh twenty-five thousand we have sold. We have booked the profit of one lakh twenty thousand. The net effect of this is nothing but six lakh rupees. That is the cost, right? So plant sold one lakh fifteen thousand given in the question. Plant at site three lakh ten thousand given in the question, right? So this is after depreciation, after selling everything after that. So there is no uh, major problem related to depreciation of plant in this question, right? It is straightforward given to you. So it may uh, it is simplifying the things. By material at site one lakh seventy thousand WIP is given to you now WIP sir he says cash received seventy lakh seventy lakh which is eighty percent of WIP right so seventy uh, lakh divided by eighty percent eighty percent of WIP that means my total WIP is eighty seven lakh fifty thousand out of which seventy lakh has been paid as cash. Work uncertified is given to you in the question, so this is the total. So from here we'll get the notional profit, that is profit for year twenty three lakh forty thousand. This is pretty simple, right? Contract account is pretty simple. The only few things that you uh, need to focus is that outstanding amount should be added. You do not miss out on it. The prepaid expenses are to be subtracted. You need to be very careful with this. Se uh, the third point is that you need to book the profit on the sale of material. Do not forget this. You might write seven lakh twenty five thousand material sold, but you might forget to book one lakh twenty five thousand as the profit also, right? So these are the few things that you need to keep in mind. You need to remember while doing the question. You need to be very very careful while attempting such questions, right? Because these are the small mistakes that you often commit, and then you say the institute is not giving the numbers, right? Somehow we are at uh, we are also at fault that we are not following the proper formats. We are not for reading the whole question carefully. We are not attempting in the way the institute wants to. Okay, so uh, all these things matter. Clear, sir. Contract account. Now he is asking you to prepare the estimated profit, right? 
so this is how the estimated profit estimated profit means what is the total expenditure now what is this estimated profit means sir estimated profit means what is your total expenditure from this date to this date right total expenditure identify your total expenditure from right from the beginning till the end right take the contract price you know subtract the total expenditure minus the contract price this will give you uh, contract price minus the total expenditure this will give you the estimated profits right so that means what you will have to identify you will have to identify what is my total expenditure right from the beginning of the contract till the end of the contract right whether you are sitting at this particular date but you can identify based on the estimated profits estimated expenditures that is given to you right so now material consumed sir 36 lakh was the material which was consumed in 1920 out of that 1,25,000 is the profit that we have earned and minus 7,25,000 is the sold. So alternatively what you can write is 36 lakh minus 6 lakh cost of material we have sold. So how much we have consumed? We have consumed only 30 lakhs of material. This is the alternative way of writing it. right? Add further consumption. Further consumption is given to you in the question. See the second column where the estimated expenditures are given 34 lakh 30,000. So this is the total material expenditure right from 1st of April 2019 till the completion of project that is 31st of December 2020. Clear? Any doubts? Okay. Now the wages is 32 lakh 50,000. We have already taken it here 32 lakh 50,000. What is the further wages that is incurred? 34 lakh 93,000 is given to you in the question. See the estimated wages there. Estimated wages 34 lakh 93,000. Now the important point here. The one of the major reasons of the mistake in this question, sir, out of this 34 lakh 93,000, this 2 lakh 50,000. Obviously, sir, if this 2 lakh 50,000 was outstanding in this period, it will be paid in this period. In the next nine months, it will be paid. So that means this 2 lakh 50,000 is included in this 34 lakh 93,000. Agreed? Because this is what we paid, right? Including 2 lakh 50,000 of the previous period. Now, when 2 lakh 50,000 has been accounted for in the previous period, how can we account it again for, uh, in the period 2021? We cannot. So, we will have to subtract it from this 34 lakh 93,000 because it was an expenditure of the previous year which we have already accounted for. Right? Which we have already accounted for. That is why this 2 lakh 50,000 is subtracted. So, this is the additional figure add outstanding given to you that outstanding at the end of 31st of December that you can add. So the total is 68,25,000. Any doubts? Right? After that, plant used. Plant used, sir. 10 lakh was the plant minus 1,50,000 which the plant was scrapped. Right? 8,85,000. Add further plant introduced 12,50,000. It is given to you in the question. In the more information it is given to you less the closing balance of the plant that is 1 lakh 50 thousand the total plant used will be 19 lakh 85 thousand establishment charges 5 lakh 85 thousand further for nine months period so you have to be careful here 5 lakh 85 thousand multiplied by 9 divided by 12 right this is an important point where you are expected to commit a mistake that further charges will be for 9 months and not for 12 months. Right, sir. Sundry expenses add further sundry expenses reserved for contingency. So the total expenditure, uh, estimated profit, tot uh, total expenditure, you will get this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this. Right. So you can uh, write one line here, total expenditure. Right, total expenditure you can calculate contract price is 2 crore rupees and the balancing figure will be your estimated profit 27,39,250. Any doubts? 
so this is a very good question very simple question now one query that i often get on this sir can we prepare this estimated this statement in a t form in a t format can we prepare this yes you can there is no issue in it you can prepare this statement in the t format also right in this format in this format you can prepare this memorandum contract account calculation of estimated profit through memorandum contract account you can prepare it in the t format in fact i will say prefer preparing it in the t format that will give you a better clarity right in that case the chances of the mistakes are less chances mistakes like this here you might miss out on writing the closing balance of the plant but if you will write in this t format you will always remember what to write where right so it is uh, according to me i always prefer the t format and nobody can cross it that is absolutely perfect format for uh, this kind of questions right so you can prepare it in the t format also no issues absolutely no issues okay so we are done with the question on contract costing in the next lecture we'll take up the next question right question number 9 so see you guys in the next lecture till then stay safe stay healthy thank you so much